when I started at Caltech in 1970, it became obvious to me that humans were really complex. And that set me off on a series of what I've called paradigm changes. Developing the automated DNA sequencer, I think, fit in that category because it it made the Human Genome Project possible. It opened up whole new areas of biology where you could do a million sequences simultaneously. Paradigm changes are, are partly creation and innovation, and, and they're partly sociology. That is convincing people that you've done something that's going to change how they practice this aspect of biology. The, the key trait you have to have is determined optimism. Have in your soul that conviction that it's going to make all the difference that uh, you know it will.